Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on lead code regarding project employees and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is easy and this question has been asked in Facebook interviews over the past couple of years. Okay, so let's jump right in. We are given a table called project with two different columns, project ID and employee ID. The combined column project ID and employee ID is the primary key of this table. Employee ID is a foreign key to the employee table. Each row of this table indicates that the employee with employee ID is working on the project with project ID. Okay. We are also given a second table called employee with three different columns, employee ID, name and experience years. Experience, employee ID is the primary key of this table. Each row of this table contains information about one employee. We are asked to write a SQL query that reports the average experience years of all the employees for each project rounded to two digits. The order of the result doesn't matter. Okay. So if we take the example of this, right? So project ID one is being worked by three employees with employee ID one, two, and three. So what is the average work experience of this or experience years of uh, people working on project ID one? So project employee ID 1, 2 and 3 are Khalid, Ali and John experience years 3, 2 and 1. So the total 6 years of experience and you divide by 3. So 2. So 2.00 is going to be the experience years for project ID 1. Similarly, you, we can calculate for 2 as well. So right. So project ID 1, 2.00. So that is what we need to do. So to do this, what we can do is firstly, since our information is uh, in two different tables, so we can perform a join of project table and employee table so that you know we have the experience years then we can group by the project ids because for each project id we need to calculate the average experience we can you know after grouping by cal calculate the average experience and then we can round off to two decimal places okay so let's start building this query so from this table called project right alias as p let's left join the employee table right employee table alias as e on p dot employee id right is equal to e dot employee id right so this will combine these two tables right and now once we have this performed this join we have the experience years then what we can do is we can group by the project id and project id is in which color which table project table right so p dot project id right and once we group by then what we can do is we can return the project id and we need to calculate the average experience right so average of experience years is in which column employee table right so e dot experience years and once we calculate the average we need to round it off to two digits right so we round this entire thing to two decimal places and the output alias is average years right so we write as average years right and since there is no order by request uh, required for this table since like order of the result doesn't matter so you know this looks good let me go ahead and run this to see what happens so yeah this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yeah, this passes all the test cases and this is how we do it again quite simple question the information was in two different tables so we perform a join then for each of the project id we calculated the average experience and then we rounded off to two decimal places so yeah this is how we do it let me know if you can think of or you know a better solution of this or a more efficient solution than this uh comment down the solution in below and until then i will see you guys in the next video